Hey, it's Brian and Barbara with two Indians. What's up, everybody? Brian at Two Indians, and today we are going to do a how to video on how to install a war bonnet from a Challenger on a standard dark horse type um, that I've installed here on my beautiful 2018 Springfield. Um, I did have a skirted fender on here before, but uh, last month, as you may remember in another video, which I show you right up here, I changed out the wheel and put this new fender on because I wanted something a little sleeker, something, uh, something new, right? I mean, that's what we do with bikes, right? But anyway, uh, I'm going to put on this lighted Challenger um, war bonnet on the new fender. Now, you can buy this war bonnet without the light kit. Uh, saves you about 40 bucks. But if you're going to spend the money, I think you might as well get a lighted one, right? Um, the other thing you need to think about is that if you're going to order one of these, you can't just call up the dealer and say, hey, I want a war bonnet, okay? Because it's not that simple. Number one, you can get these in black or chrome. And if you'll notice, if you look real clearly, there's nothing in here. There's no war bonnet details, just the shape of it. So you have to order that separate. And what that looks like is not just one of these, but two of these, because you've got a left one and a right one. And you can also get these in black or chrome. So you could do chrome over black or black over chrome or black on black and chrome on chrome. Uh, either way, you can do that. So you have one, two, three, and then you need a mounting kit. Uh, you need a little rubber grommet that goes on the fender here. That's what that looks like. Four parts, we're not done yet. Five, you've got a part that goes on the underside of the fender, which uh, goes under here. And not only does it uh, give you like a screw hole or whatever, um, or some kind of mounting thing, but it also gives you a little wire loom. I don't know if you can see that for the, um, for the cabling to go through, okay? So, um, so that's another thing that you need. What is that? One, two, three, four, five uh, pieces. And then you need screws. Believe it or not, it does not come with screws. So you have to order a screw kit. Oh, sorry, it's not a kit. It's actually one screw, <laughs> two screw, and actually that's all you need. You need two screws. So, um, so I think it's seven parts total that you need to put this on. Now I'm hoping that this fitting here is the same as the old war bonnet uh, wiring harness connection. So we'll see about that in a minute. But anyway, we're going to, uh, to put this sucker on. So I've kind of thought about how this is going to go. Uh, number one, I want to mark where the uh, war bonnet is going to go. I know if you look at um, the other war bonnets, you can see it on Barbara's bike. It kind of looks like the top of it sits level to the ground um, or pretty close to that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of blue tape, some painter's tape, and then I'm going to line it up on here. Let's see how that looks. I think it's going to kind of be right about there. I mean, that's too high. That looks just about right like that. So I'm going to put a piece of painter's tape here just to kind of eyeball it. Now let's look at it. Yeah, I think that's better. All right, so that's kind of going to be the back of it. Take our little rubber grommet piece, and this is going to sit on here like this, and obviously the wire is going to go through the middle. We've got screw holes. So here and here is our screw hole. And if we look at this, we can see that there's on the back a little bit of overlap and so I lined I lined that tape up to the back of it so I guess we're just gonna kind of lay that so I'm just gonna put that on there like that so now we just have an idea of front to back where it's gonna go but now I got to figure out how I'm gonna find center on this now I know where the front is I can pull this off because now I've lined up the front and I mean, I could just eyeball it, I guess. But uh, I'm not a fan of eyeballing stuff. Now 
And then I think if we peel this up, so I've taken a piece of tape and I've gone from one side to the other. And now that I've done that, uh, I'm just basically pulled that piece of tape off. I'm going to fold it in half and line up the lines. I'm just going to make a crease in the middle and that should tell me where dead center is, right? So line up where I was before. And that goes on there perfectly. Here's my crease. So I'm just going to make a little, little line here and a little line there. And then on the front, this is the front edge of that rubber grommet. So I'm just going to kind of put a little, a little mark here that I know will overlap. And then same on the back also. So I know when I put this rubber piece on here, it's going to cover that up. So now that I've got that done, I've got it marked to the front and the back. Uh, I've got the dead center marked on the fender. Now that I've got the front and back position set for the war bonnet, we're gonna pull the fender off and we'll get it set up on a bench somehow and make it sturdy and so it doesn't rock around when we try to drill the holes. I've got a six millimeter hex head here. <clears throat> Ooh, these suckers are tight. Get some leverage on this. All right, we're gonna support this because once we pull that last screw out, we know what's gonna happen, right? The sucker's gonna fall. And hopefully just slide out. There we go. See about how we're gonna drill this sucker out. Actually, that looks pretty cool without a fender, doesn't it? Ooh. So I just happen to have this box handy and sitting around here. And I think this is gonna make a great workbench, believe it or not. And I've got a workbench and I've got saw horses and I've got all that stuff, but honestly, I think this is pretty much gonna do it right here. So I'm just gonna line this up like so, put a piece of tape down the middle, just for a little extra protection. Now I can just eyeball, line up center there to where that is and just reposition this back here. I just kind of traced around the edge there. Center that. That's for the wire. And then for the other screw hole, that's going to be center there. So we've got our three appropriately sized holes here and now I'm going to pull the tape off and I'm going to run the screws up through the bottom and we're going to mount this sucker. All right, so we have fed the wire. We've got the, the war bonnet on here. We've got that grommet in between. Just kind of holding it in position here. We'll line up the screw holes and then this is the wiring loom that we were talking about. And that is a pretty interesting shape, right? So these two mounting holes go here and then, then it runs off to the side. All right, so this screw that goes underneath takes a four millimeter. Because this is going underneath the fender and I'm probably not gonna be able to get back under here to double check the threads from time to time, I'm just gonna put a little bit of uh, Loctite on here. All right, there's one. I'm just gonna finger tight these. Then I want to take it off and take a look at it real quick. Make sure it looks centered. Make sure it's sitting on the grommet properly, which it is not. So I want to shift it around a little bit. Get that grommet in place correctly. Line up the war bonnet. I'm going to snug these up pretty good. Now it's interesting. This doesn't have a way to get um, set into place down here. So there's no screw, there's no nothing. I don't, I don't get it. I am not really liking how this is just flopping around in here. So what I'm gonna do is clean off the inside of the fender and I'm just gonna put some duct tape on there and uh, that should hold this in place okay. I think we'll be fine with that. Little redneck ingenuity, right?
And I'm just going to cinch one side down super tight, make a nice crease there, and then fold it over the wire so it's super nice and snug. All right, I don't think I'm going to get any tire rub there, but and I'm really not liking how that, uh, you know, they should have made a, a plastic piece that comes all the way down to here and have it molded to the shape of the fender. Not, not too thrilled with that, to be honest. All right, so let's just feed this back in here. And as usual, we just snug them up a little bit first. So my main concern is clearance between the tire and that wiring harness. And uh, there's plenty of room there. I got at least more than a finger's width, maybe a finger and a half width. Of course, your fingers may be different than mine, right? But I think we're going to be just fine. All right. Yeah, I think that's looking pretty good. I think it looks perfectly level. I really like it. Awesome. All right, let's get those emblems on there. Ta da! Just a peel and stick right off the back. And we're just going to going to pitch that in place all right now i got to figure out where that wire is going to connect i know it's going to be up under here somewhere so if there's one thing i don't want to do it's pull this nacelle off because man that is a bear all right well the good news is is that the wiring harness cable that we needed to attach to was just up under this side of the nacelle. I was just able to reach my hand up in there and find it. Um, the factory labels all of the wires, so it just simply said war bonnet on it. The connector was made it up perfectly to the connector from the Challenger war bonnet, so just plugged it right in and it looks awesome. I'm just going to go ahead and turn it on real quick right there. Look at that. Fantastic. Looks absolutely amazing. All right, so all in all, it probably only took me about 45 minutes, I guess, to pull the fender off, drill the holes, uh, mount everything together, maybe an hour at the most, but it really was a piece of cake and um, something that you guys could do real easily. Um, so if you're thinking about it, go ahead and do it. It was simple. Uh, hey, thanks for watching. I really appreciate you guys checking out the channel. Uh, we've got lots of great writing videos and how-tos and other review videos on this channel. So if you're not a subscriber, uh, check them out. You can hit the subscribe button because we've got lots of new stuff coming out all the time. Do two or three videos a month. And um, you can also see us on Instagram and Facebook at Ride With Two Indians. So anyway, thanks again, guys. Really appreciate you watching. Two Indians out until next time. Peace. See ya. Boom. Everybody does that. Woo. <laughs> Thanks. Appreciate it. Talk to you soon. Bye.